Welcome to the Pyramid Insider. I'm Tyler Patner, and today we're going to be covering seven things that you need to know about air gun ammo. Now, if you're new to air guns, this video is for you. We're gonna be deep diving a little bit into the various calibers, the different types of ammo options that are out there, what they're good for, what they're not. If you're an experienced air gunner, maybe this video isn't for you, but if you stick around, you might learn something. Let's do this. Now, a lot of folks ask, how many different calibers of ammo does Pyramid Air sell? Well, the short answer is eight. We have 177, 20, 22, 25, 30, 35, 45, and 50. The long answer is a bit more complicated than that. We also have 308. You have a couple different sizes of 45 ammo, so it's actually a little more than eight, but eight is what we're gonna focus on today. Now, one of the common questions we get, especially with the growing popularity of air gun hunting, is what is a big bore round? What calibers does that reference? So basically, folks, anything from 177 up to 25 is considered small bore. Now, personally, I consider 30 and most 35 calibers in a mid bore category. But really, anything that is a big bore, we're talking about 35 and larger. And right now, your predominant guns are going to be 35, 45, and 50 caliber in that big bore category. Now, the third thing you need to know are the different pellet shapes that are out there. Now, this is kind of excluding round balls or BBs. Uh, your first one is going to be your domed pellet. Now, this is a, also referenced as a round nose pellet. These are great for target shooting, also good for hunting as well. You have hollow points up next, like this JSB Hades here, and these are going to be best suited for hunting. Good expansion, usually, out of most of your hollow point designs. You also have pointed pellets, which are probably the least common pellet. Uh, but a nice point there obviously made for penetration and then of course you have your flat pellets flat nose or wad cutter now these are really purposed for target shooting and punching clean holes in paper and number four, we're gonna talk about BBs. Now, most folks think BBs are, you know, strictly 177 caliber little steel ball bearings then it's not quite right. We have a couple other materials out there that are typically used for BBs on top of your steel and zinc. You have the H&N Excite Smart Shop BBs. Now this is actually a lead core copper coated BB. So much like a copper jacketed bullet, this is going to deform quite nicely and flatten mostly when you shoot a hard target. So this is what we would consider a low ricochet BB. And you also have these dust devils right here from Air Venturi made in the USA that actually are frangible. And what that means is that they break apart when they hit a hard target. And these are really cool because it's a very safe training tool for those BB guns out there. You could shoot your steel, you get the nice ring, but you don't have to worry about shooting your eye out like Ralphie ricochet is uh, not a concern with these guys so bb's have uh, definitely developed over the last couple of years this is relatively recent despite them being around for so long and one other tidbit about bb's they are a little bit smaller than their 177 caliber counterparts in the pellet world so just something to know if you're trying to use bb's in a pellet gun pellets in a bb gun doesn't always work so keep that in mind as well at the five spot, lead-free pellets. Now, uh, most pellets out there these days are lead-based pellets, almost pure lead for the most part, but you do have your non-lead options like the Predator GTO line of pellets, the H&N Green line of pellets as well, and there are a handful of others, and these are great for those of you that are trying to be a little bit eco-conscious, or maybe if you're worried about a young shooter having lead exposure, things like that, these are what those lead-free pellets are gonna be great for. They're usually made out of tin, zinc, a couple other materials as well. Uh, they can be a little barrel particular, so something to keep in mind. You do want to test them, especially for those of you that are going to be using them for small game hunting, and they are usually a bit lighter, so I don't tend to recommend them in use in spring piston and gas piston guns, although there are some exceptions to that rule, but for CO2 guns, for your PCPs, they are absolutely phenomenal. Your multi-pumps as well, uh, they're a great option for those of you that are looking to get the lead out. 
Now at number six, we're gonna talk about slugs. Historically in the air gun world, slugs are really referring to big bore ammo, uh, like this 45 cal here, and they come in different shapes, of course, but in the recent past, the last couple of years or so, small bore slugs have become a real thing in the air gun world. This is a 25 caliber H&N HP slug here, and a really great option, but H&N, JSB, a bunch of other manufacturers have come to the plate with small bore slugs in 177 all the way up to 30 caliber, that offer you a higher ballistic coefficient than your pellet counterparts. And these are really great for PCPs. That higher BC means you're going to get more retained energy and velocity downrange. Uh, and they're really, really phenomenal for reaching out and touching things at those long distances, whether it's pest control or just general target shooting as well. They buck the wind really well. Uh, and if you have a gun that shoots them, they can be a real advantage at distance. Now last, but certainly not least, one of my favorite things in the air gun ammo world are arrows. Yes, you heard me right, arrows from air guns. It's a thing and it's a thing you need to be aware of. Now this is a Seneca air bolt. This is a 45 caliber. These guys will fit in most of your 35, 45, and 50 caliber PCP air guns and shoot very fast. I'm talking over 500 feet per second. They are awesome. There are also a host of other air guns from companies like FX, Hotson, Umarex, Benjamin, where they have aero systems that slide over a barrel, so a little bit different than this air bolt here, uh, but shoot just as fast. Awesome, awesome use of air gun technology to fling an arrow. Really cool, something you need to check out, especially if you're into big game hunting. Thanks for joining us today as we covered seven things that you should know about air gun ammo. Hopefully you learned something. If you're new to air guns, I'm sure this was a lot to take in. There's even more stuff that we could go in depth on, but wanted to keep it relatively high level overview for you guys. So like I said, hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. We appreciate you a ton for watching. Don't forget as always to like, comment, and subscribe. Go follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And for The Insider, I'm Tyler Patner. We'll see you at the next one.